So very slowly and carefully will you turn yourself around like a very <laughs> Don't forget to
It's a drink. With your free hand, put your uh, palm on your forehead and with the lips very lightly touching, keep well apart, come and chew and get that jaw moving. In your mid range, should be a nice, free, easy sound. Think about breath. Use a little more breath, a little more air. How about your high range? By keeping the resonance high forward and spacious, try to chew in your low range.
Can you just shorten 
uh, all notes uh, longer than an eighth note. And um, could we start forcing hands with piano so that when we have the crescendo, we got some less nice Right? Good for you. Nice. And a little more day crescendo in the two four bars. For those bars at 13, 14.
on a mezzo piano. I don't think this is new. I think we did it this way last fall. A mezzo piano, uh, uh, top of eight, last bar, second half of the bar. May God send. That gives you more, and it gives you a chance to get even more excited for shimmy. Lady sings by on the seven, on the two, and now what? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
testing, check one. No more of this crazy hot mic, which I'm sure you're all appreciative. Okay. Let's start from the beginning, please. a little bit of something to come. It doesn't need to be louder, it doesn't need to be faster, just a hint of there's something here. That was just very placid. It was nice. Let's try it right at your entrance. Pick up to letter A, please. Seven, nine, three, eight. I heard that. <laughs> here you go. One, two, three. Seven, nine, three, two, Sopranos and altos at letter D, the ooze, it's beautiful. Um, I know it says piano. Maybe, maybe this much. Yes, but piano plus. Piano plus. Okay, can I hear those ooze, please? All the sopranos and altos. And uh, one, and two. Oh, we Nice. Can we shave more of the ooze? Ooh. Little swell. Make it pretty. And uh, one and two. Yes. So um, there, the the soprano ones. You've got that uh, high high. You've got an E for a beat and a half, and then we move. And it's just a, it's just a little late because you're not like everybody else who's just moving right into beat two. So. Think ahead if you need to separate to get to beat two on time. Let's do that. Here's the ooze again. It's exciting. And now, one and two. Ooh, with a voice as Ooh, help us a lot. Good. Let's add the um, uh, tenors and basses back in, please. A song, a song, and one and two and a song, a song. Thank you. 
guitars and altos, can we hear letter E, please? So the shepherd boy to the mighty king. And soprano, uh, soprano ones, use the H to your, to your benefit on mighty. Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king, mighty king. Enjoy the rhythm. We don't have many 16th notes here, so let's make good use of them. Sopranos and altos, pick the letter E. One, two, three. too many times. The letter F, a child, a child. Can that be a little sweeter? Can you float that? A child, a child. It's cool, but there's a lot of you singing one line, so we don't need much. Good. Um, 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 um. So, so there's no break between child and us? A child, a No, no, thank you. No, soprano altos, I would like you to lift there. A child. A child shoes. Yep. Pick up to letter F, sopranos and altos, lead us in, and then tenors and bass will float that real pretty like. A child, a child shoes. Go, let us free. instead of an eighth rest. That's more time to breathe and not slow down. Can we start, please? Pick up to letter I. Yes, question. Can we reach over the tenor and bass to pick up to two bars before J? 
One, two, with the pick up. Oh, he will bring. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah, can we try that tenors and basses? Is that an okay place? Excuse me, to start? You see where we are? Okay. Here we go. And one, and two, and three. And that was nice. Sing just he will bring us goodness one more time, please. Tenors and basses. One and two and go. He will bring us goodness and go. Thank you, very nice. Thank you. Can we now start with pick up to letter I? Everybody, the child. With a lift and then a sustain. Figure. One and two and the child, the child. Thank you. 
to the last bar, which is right in a decrescendo. So this is bottom of nine, second bar, starting with the third beat, decrescendo, and she gets to the beginning of the last bar, the mezzo piano plus, and write in the word warm. And then we have a crescendo as written on the next page. But I just, I just think it needs that moment of tenderness. Um, at the top of page nine, in the second bar, we write the words radiantly, a blessing, a smile on your face. And they can tell you through a mask if you smile. Can we start right there? Top of nine, second bar. Okay. 
okay? Sit around, or uh, uh, those of you uh, singing the middle part, like you're singing an A and then you go up to a B flat, or, yeah, or, or, or especially alphas, uh, top of five, last bar, when you go up to that A, the vowels went from this to this. Okay? Make them all tall. Okay? Don't let the vowel change just because it just changed. Let's take that same spot. Can you just clarify here? Bottom of page four. I think we have different pages. Oh, 40, 4, 5, 6, 7. Thank you. I forgot that. Just a little more punch in 
knows. Uh, are there any spots in there particular you would like to go over in that whole section for starting at 75? No, it was quite nice, but... The notes Okay, in 89, she's saying, note that it's a switch from a soprano division to an alto division. However, those of you who like to sing in the middle should just be on the middle the whole time. <laughs> yes? Could we just, at 75, just run through that house? Sure. I mean, yeah. Sure. A little bit slower. Do it without the words. Do it without the words. Sing it on. Po. P-O. One. Po. Here you go. Good, 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 good. Did you notice? 75, 6, 77. Did you notice in the second half of 77 on the three consecutive eight notes, the tempo changed? Yes. Can you do something about that? 75. One and two.
no way. So redo uh, uh. Okay. See if he likes it. Going on. Uh, let's go right on uh, starting in here in 97. Debbie. Twenty-one. 
Hanukkah is Kertza. He wanted us to go over 3, 7, 8, and 11. Not Hanukkah scarecrow. So, uh, this goes good. Is there anything you need in Hanukkah scarecrow? So? I think this will bring me probably more present. Number three. Uh, 
So Steve sent out an email. We got one response. Thank you, Tim. And uh, just please return the favor to them because they love you and uh, are very eager. Now, I do admit, they get a deal. They, they get into the concert, <laughs> right? Which they would normally have to pay for. Um, and, and these are free concerts. But I, I wish you would come and um, uh, show them some support by being there for them. So please consider that. Um, I will, and uh, that, that'll come out tomorrow. John, I just wanted to say it is, it's, it's so rewarding and so enjoyable to do that. It's, it's absolutely delightful. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Thanks, Michelle. If I have to lock the door so that too many people don't come in, like, it's amazing how many people come in. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago, when we did, uh, I think that was 18, was the last time we did a Christmas concert together. We had 180 singers. And St. Andrew has a capacity of, well, on the day, depending on what day Mark Zoe was talking to me, it's 850 or 950. We had 1,200 people there. But uh, this spring, we had about 65 singers at Grace and Phil the place. So um, I anticipate that we will probably have pretty good, pretty good crowds uh, on uh, the 20th and the 21st. These concerts are where? Grace Presbyterian, where we did our, uh, our, our, uh, oh, right, recordings. Recordings, last fall and this spring. Um, <laughs> Remember, the concert work schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, solo auditions for the Mendelssohn are today, well, while Will is working on uh, uh, musical. musical Expo and the Bell Carol, I will be in the chapel with, uh, thank you, Bonnie, for helping out, and we'll be there at Karen Will, so this week and next week. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yes, Mary's got an important announcement. Mary, can I ask a question real fast? Yeah. Um, you had mentioned that we we're going to be singing at the Basilica. Do you have those dates? February 20th? February 20th? Yeah. Thank you. It's February 20th? Yes, it's the 20th, and our rehearsal will be the 17th, and I'll make a note to put that in my notes okay. tomorrow so you can... You don't want to miss that. That's, that's a fun deal. <laughs> Okay, can you hear me? Um, we just wanted to clarify some stuff. We had a board meeting last night, and we just wanted to clarify some of the COVID protocols. Of course, everybody knows we're wearing masks, and everybody is vaccinated, so that's awesome. Um, what we haven't really, and we've also talked about, if you do not feel well, do not come to rehearsal. Um, I happen to be out of town, Feeling just fine, but I missed rehearsal last week. Um, but I was able to see, uh, you know, watch the recordings. And so um, we're doing that this year so that even if you have to miss a rehearsal, you can still get credit for going to the rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so watch those if you can't come. If you feel ill, do not come. Um, it's, you know, not good for anybody. Um, also, one of the things we have not clarified in the past is that if you um, are, are um, uh, diagnosed with COVID um, and you had been at a rehearsal immediately prior to finding out, in other words, you felt fine the day of rehearsal and then a couple days later you were diagnosed, what we would like you to do is to notify your section leader. Um, we will not give your name unless you want us to. Um, but just notify your section leader so that we can let everyone else know that someone was, you know, someone tested positive. For example, we found out over the weekend that there was a soprano who tested positive after she was at rehearsal last week. So we want to let everyone know so that then you can make decisions. Do you need to go get tested? You know, that sort of thing so that everybody can stay safe. Anybody have questions about that? Okay, keep up your masks. Yep. Okay.
Uh, very quickly, on, can you hear me all right? Yeah. On Colorado Gives Day, there is a new extra incentive. Uh, every, uh, four, four, every week for four weeks, the organization that has the, the greatest number of people signing up in advance gets a, gets a prize, and it's quite substantial. I think it's $1,000 or something like that. So it's nothing to sneeze at. If you can, if you plan to give on Colorado Gives Day, signing up now may give us that opportunity. Okay? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Should we strategically aim for one week? Oh, what a good question. Um, it certainly makes a lot of sense. Uh, yay, 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 yay. I'll get back to you next week. Um, let, let's, let's see, it, it's, it's going to run for four weeks, and I think it starts this week, so we would have three weeks to do that. Let's, let's check, I'll check on that, and I'll get back to you next week. And, and that's when Leslie is coming back to all of it. Yeah, I, I think so. Find out what the date, the beginning date is. Yes, I'm sorry, I, the I, I don't have all the information. <laughs> yeah, yeah, between X and Y, four times, Oh my gosh, I doubt it very, very much, but I'm not sure. I'll try to get more details. I just saw it shortly before I came here. What's this 10 bucks crap? I think it really comes up on Colorado Gives Day. If you can sign up to have your money taken on Colorado. Oh, that's exactly the point. You sign up now, you, you, you sign up now for your, for your donation to be credited on Colorado Gives Day. <clears throat> I thought, yeah, that's, I think most, most people, most of us understand that. Yeah. And a reminder, if you do decide to wait until Colorado Gives Day, you're going to have a tremendous traffic jam on the computer. Yeah. It's not fun. I did it once. <laughs> several years ago, don't do it. Yeah, do it early. Do Good it point. Before. Good point. Yeah, vote early, vote often. <laughs> uh, any other questions? I'll try to clarify some of that next week. Thanks a lot. Good, thank you. Ten, ten minutes. Thanks. You already have a question.